Welcome to the Black Herstory Channel. Today, we will be overviewing Queen Nefertari. Queen Nefertari is one of many great Nubian queens. Nefertari is heralded as the queen who wed for peace. Her marriage to King Ramses II of Egypt, one of the last great Egyptian pharaohs, began strictly as a political move, a sharing of power between two leaders. However, not only did it grow into one of the greatest royal love affairs in history, but brought the Hundred Year War between Nubia and Egypt to an end. It was an armistice which lasted over 100 years. Even today, a monument stands in Queen Nefertari's honor. In fact, the temple which Ramses II built for her at Abu Simbel is one of the largest and most beautiful structures ever built to honor a wife and celebrate peace. Queen Nefertari was one of several queens of King Ramses II. Her name is sometimes spelled Norfertari, and I want to make this distinction. She is not the same person as the more famous Queen Nefertiti pictured here. Queen Nefertiti ruled alongside her husband, King Akhenaten, in the mid-14th century BC. King Ramses II, or Ramses the Great, ruled Egypt for 67 years, from 1290 to 1224 BC, during the early 19th dynasty. He had seven different queens. The first and most favorite of these was Queen Nefertari. Ramses lived for over 90 years and fathered at least 40 daughters and 45 sons. Nefertari was the mother of at least four sons and two daughters. Artifacts help identify the mothers of some of Ramses' second children. The four princes believed to be Nefertari's sons were Amun, Ker, Kepshef, Perahurwinmif, Miryatim, and Merir. Two princesses identified by scholars as Nefertari's daughters were Merimatin and Hinwudyatwe. Some scholars speculate she may have had other children, but no evidence has proved this. Nefertari was Ramses the second wife for over 24 years. They actually wed when she was 13 years old and he was 15, which was typical for this time period. What was probably a politically inspired union would over time blossom into an amorous, loving relationship where Ramses II celebrated his love for her with monument and poetry dedicated in her honor. The many titles ascribed to her attest to the esteem Ramses held for her and the various roles she undertook in the function as queen. Names such as Sweet of Love, Bride of God, Lady of Grace, Great King's Wife, His Beloved, Lady of the Two Lands, Lady of All the Lands, Wife of the Strong Bull, God's Wife, and Mistress of Upper and Lower Egypt, as well as Ramses II personally naming her the one for whom the sun shines. Wow. All of these names demonstrate her position as lover, priestess, and political functionary. She is also known to have even accompanied Ramses in some cases on military campaign. Given the beautiful titles, that were bestowed upon her and the way that she was revered by her husband and her subjects. Ladies, when you want to tap into your highest expression of femininity, owning your feminine prowess, your love, your beauty, your poise, your grace and confidence, Queen Nefertari is who you should tap into. 
who you should think of. I mean, she was able to unite two warring lands and create peace. And her husband dedicated beautiful monument to her. It was very uncommon for that time. Queen Nefertari's tomb is one of the most spectacular Egyptian tombs found to date. The ancient Egyptians certainly had style, and Africans all over the diaspora definitely still do. First, the tomb is unusually large for a queen's tomb, but what really makes a lasting impression is over 5,200 square feet of stunning paintings, some of which can be seen here. Egyptologists have found statues and images of Nefertari throughout Egypt. At Luxor, statues of the queen are at the foot of a giant statue of Ramses II. Other images show her leading the royal children in rituals or during festivals. Images also show Nefertari with her husband honoring the gods and commemorating events. Scholars have found more evidence of Queen Nefertari's importance in the capital city of Hittites. Early in this reign, Ramses II was at war with the Hittites, but a peace treaty was established during his reign. After they made peace, Nefertari wrote letters to the king and queen of the Hittites. She also sent them gifts, including a gold necklace. Queen Nefertari seemed to be the quintessential lady of a king. She was educated and wise, which made her powerful. And she was poised, thoughtful, and loving, which made her beautiful. So today, we salute you, Queen Nefertari, here at the Black Herstory Channel. An inspiring Nubian queen. Here at the Black Herstory Channel where Black history is every day. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, thou art rich, and we will always uplift you, sis, here at the Black History Channel.